Mr. Noble, um, Walter Bishop, I think in a way his precedents in pop culture are in no particular order. Dr. Frankenstein, uh, <laughs> Dr. Strangelove, although well, that may be one. Blair Brown's character, I'm not sure. Dr. Huh? Bill. Uh, Dr. Phil, uh, <laughs> Back to the Future's Doc Brown, uh, Dr. Timothy Leary, yeah. who I, I actually met a couple of times, and I'm telling you, he <laughs> talked like you. <laughs> um, and with his gift for non sequiturs to abandon the doctors, uh, I hear everything from Alfred Jarry's Per Ubu uh, to some cross between the comedians Norm Crosby and Stephen Wright. Um, <laughs> and begin. <laughs> and yes, and scene. Uh, how, did, how did you feel as you as you approached that character? Thank you, Ken. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're so uh, articulate, aren't they? I'm still stuck on his first question. What did you th What did you think when you read the script? <laughs> I wanted to say, what do you mean, the first day of filming? It was like, what scene am I shooting today? Um, I want to answer that. Because I actually didn't read the script until about then. What? <laughs> no, it, it doesn't work that way. That's the imagination. You get sent a scene to do, and you try the best to do the scene, and then if you sort of do it a bit all right, they might send you some more information. <laughs> That's it, baby, I tell you. Need to know basis. Yeah, need to know. Script, script, first script. I didn't quite understand the last question, but thanks, it sounded really good. <laughs> I, all of those things, I'm sure. Uh, the script read like a film. It was, it was just so exciting to read this, this pilot script, which is where the question started. When I read Walter Bishop, it read to me like a dream role. In fact, there's a little story I'll share with you. I hadn't read this script, and, uh, and sometime earlier I'd heard about it, and uh, they said, oh, no, you're too young for it. <laughs> thanks. So, <laughs> I mean, yes, thanks. Uh, and then my daughter, who, who's an actress, said to me, Dad, I've, this, there's a role in this thing, you've got to read it. And I said, well, no, they don't want me, I'm too... So anyway, finally they sent me this scene to read, and I've gone, oh, my goodness. It was, I don't know if you remember the pilot, any of you, but it was this extraordinary scene where Walter first meets Anna's character and Peter in the mental asylum, and he's deliciously insane <laughs> and talking about butterscotch pudding and stuff. Oh, I love this. I could do this all my life. <laughs> we hope so, yes. <laughs> At least for a few years of it. That was the first scene that we shot. It was, too. wasn't it? Yeah. And I remember walking in and John's sitting in this corner with all his beard on and Olivia just pokes her head and says, hello. <laughs> ah, yeah. And it begins. It was so cold that day. Mm. Oh, oh, man, it was brutal it was that, that. <laughs> they cut the scene that we did in the cold, though. Oh, I know. <laughs> so, look, it was, so begin true. it was the beginning of a journey that... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking? No, no, I was going to say, though, one of the... As a Canadian, one of the funniest things that we oh, get no. to do as a Canadian is, is introduce... <laughs> I, I literally can't understand what the But I was going to say, I love, <laughs> but I love the Ubu reference because every now and then this character in this play will just say, poo. Uh, <laughs> like, exactly. <laughs> just... Maybe you could work that in. <clears throat> We're losing control here. 